Troan, and I've decided this year I'm going to do a lot of video blogging because I think there's the power that comes through in eye-to-eye -eye contact that doesn't sometimes come across in a written word. In this blog, I would like to share with you some ideas that you might be thinking about as the new year unfolds. It's the 11th of January, so we've already had 11 days of practice on what it's going to be like to work in 2012. And maybe you've already spent some time reflecting on what worked last year. In a personal branding journey, it's always important to understand what happened before, where we are today, and what we are looking forward to going future, going forward in the future. We can't change the past. The past has already happened. And every experience, every opportunity, every challenge, every decision you've made has, has happened, it's existed, and it's made you partly who you are. So it's important to understand and to look back and reflect on those, but to realize that the power really comes in what you can do today in order to affect tomorrow. So when you look back over last year, maybe even the last couple years, what decisions have you made? What choices have you opted for that have brought you success, that have created those rock star moments that we talk about in my book, Reputation 360, Creating Power Through Personal Branding, what are, have been those pivotal opportunities you've taken advantage of that have been successful? And what have you learned about yourself and your personal brand and values as you've made those decisions? Next, you're going to want to look at where you are today. Are you attracting the opportunities that you desire? If you're looking for a job, are you attracting interviews and conversations in the job that you want or simply the job that you'll take? So what are you doing today and how is it all working for you today? That's an important evaluation to think about where things are today. But also the power you have is to affect what happens tomorrow. So what decisions can you make today? How can you be more intentional about the way you present yourself, your image, your tone, your body language? the way you show up online. How can you be more intentional to create a better tomorrow? In personal branding, we spend a lot of time thinking about your desired brand. How do you ultimately want to be remembered? That's the reputation that we strive for. And it allows us to be intentional today. So if I want to be seen as collaborative and approachable, I'm going to make those decisions today because I can't undo what happened yesterday but I can make those decisions today to be seen today as someone who's approachable and collaborative. I can dress in a warm and responsive way. I can make good eye contact with people and smile when, they're, when I'm showing acknowledgement for what they're sharing. I can leave my office door open and maybe even put pictures of my family out so people can see me as a real person. Online, I'm gonna make sure that I respond to comments that are posted on my Facebook wall that I'm going to answer questions in my LinkedIn groups, and then I'm going to show people that my commitment is to the conversation, that this is not just one-sided. And those might be some examples of ways that I show that I'm approachable and collaborative. But it's important to look back on yesterday, learn from it, understand it, look at your, what you're doing today, make sure you're being intentional, be conscious, take control over everything that you can control, and understand that you're building towards a better tomorrow to make sure that your personal brand and your reputation work for you to create opportunities and to pull those choices towards you so that you have the power. Thank you so much. This has been Lita Citroen of Lita360. And I'll come back to you soon with some more tips.